In this video, we're going to be walking you through several of the neighborhoods in Dallas, Texas. So if you're thinking about making a move and not sure exactly where it is you want to end up, then you're going to want to stick around for this video because I will walk you through several neighborhoods uh, step by step. We won't spend too much time on it, but this is going to be a high level and very quick overview of everything inside the circle of Dallas and so that way you get a better idea and then if you stick around till the end I'll share with you a market report so you can see what the current status is on the market here in Dallas and we're gonna get after it right now <laughs> channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Dallas, Texas, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas, Texas. And my name is Levi and my partner Jimmy and I as real estate agents here, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just be sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas, Texas. So as we mentioned in the beginning of this video, we're going to walk you through several neighborhoods in Dallas, so that way you can get an idea of the proximity to downtown, some of the top amenities and also features and benefits of each of those neighborhoods a very quick high level overview so you can get a better understanding and if you see a neighborhood that you'd like then we've likely got a vlog on that neighborhood or some additional information of course if you want to learn more about that you can always reach out to us and we can always set up a zoom call and you know give you the knowledge that we have about the area that way it might help you uh, make a better decision and that's the whole goal for this so with that being said let's just jump in my computer and take a look all right so here we are in uh, Dallas and you can see the several neighborhoods right around downtown you've got downtown right here but I just want to zoom out real quick for you so this is something that we call uh, right here 635 this is kind of what's referenced to the as the circle which is what I mentioned in the in the beginning of the video so that's really what people kind of separate uh, actual Dallas from everything else, right? Clearly you have all your suburbs around here like Frisco, The Colony, Plano, Allen, McKinney. Uh, we've done several vlogs on these. So if you want to learn about those suburbs in particular, then I recommend go check out uh, our vlogs on those neighborhoods. So right now we're just going to kind of touch on everything inside the circle. So if you're a person that likes to be closer to downtown and you want to be in all of the activity, then this video is definitely for you. So let's just kind of zoom in a little bit and show you the top neighborhoods here in the Dallas area. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to give you a brief overview of each of them just to kind of give you a better understanding and that way uh, if you want some more information, be sure you reach out to us or check out some of our other videos because we do have several vlogs on these, on these as well. So let me start with down here. We'll just kind of work our way from down and move up. But Bishop Arts District, this is an awesome neighborhood and it's really starting to hit its stride right now. There's a lot of revitalization going on in that area. It's actually part of uh, Oak Cliff, you know, Oak Cliff back in the day, a long time ago, 10 to 20 years ago, it was not known as the best area. But now Bishop Arts has really helped revitalize this whole area. One of my favorite spots in Dallas, kind of off the beaten path, uh, you see right here Lockhart uh, Steakhouse or Smokehouse, Lockhart Barbecue, one of the best barbecue places in all of Dallas. But there's so much else going on right here. You can kind of see everything uh, within that yellow area right there. Everything's happening right in here and up and down these main streets. So uh, with that being said, then this is a great spot. There's so many historic homes in this whole area. Oh, a vegan food house. That's a great place if you uh, like vegan food. Uh, they do an amazing job, kind of like down home southern cooking, but all vegan. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, all throughout here, several, several historic homes uh, that you're going to find that are getting renovated. Uh, there's some new complexes going up around here as well. I've actually got a great friend of mine that's an interior designer and has just completed uh, several large projects with uh, multi-housing units, uh, large apartments in this area as well. So really, you 
you could come down here and uh, they've got great views of downtown because it's not that far it's just right over here so you can see the proximity is not that far at all okay so that this one's not really highlighted but i'm gonna tell you right here this is a hidden gem is kessler park right here i mean this is an amazing neighborhood i think it's one of the most underrated or really not well known neighborhoods it's a lot of old school it's kind of like old school money back in the day uh, really really nice historic homes and uh, a lot of uh, heavily treed area i mean it it is to me it's like a, kind of one of the coolest unknown places in the dallas area is kessler park right there uh, let's look at west dallas this is also going through a huge um, renovation right now as far as a neighborhood they just completed this bridge right here that goes over the trinity river uh, which really connects i mean this is like a straight shot just from downtown into west dallas here so everything right along this area is really starting to pop uh, new developments and of course they're kind of tearing down some of the older homes and i'm not talking about historic homes just some of the homes built in the 50s and 60s and 70s that you know were not that well done but all along uh, singleton like right as soon as you get off the bridge you'll see uh, right as you get off this bridge a lot of this area right there is being developed with restaurants and bars uh, beto and son actually uh, let me zoom out there is one of my favorite little Tex-Mex spots. There it is right there. Uh, Cake Bar, V Eats, another vegan place if you like uh, vegan. Network Bar, so a lot right here. This is a cool little complex and everything that they put in. They've got several uh, apartments that coming up right here. And I tell you what, this is one of the best views going into downtown crossing this bridge, especially at night whenever all the buildings are lit up. It's absolutely amazing. And you can see the proximity you have to downtown Dallas right there. So West Dallas is um, a great option. Oh, by the way, you know, comment be comment below if you have any questions specifically on any of these neighborhoods. But also, we have uh, neighborhood snapshots. You can download those PDFs. That's free. You don't have to enter in any information. So it kind of gives you a little high-level overview of each of these areas. Uh, let's see. You got West End. This is a historic district at the west end it's called sometimes referred to as the red brick district because most of the buildings over there were uh, built over a hundred years ago and in, in uh, with all red brick and it's pretty cool uh, we actually have some offices over there one of my favorite just because of the whole uh, kind of like the industrial and loft style downtown feel of the offices uh, i absolutely love it but it's a great spot, a lot of bars and restaurants right there, and super close to Victory Park, right up here, where if you are a Dallas Stars or Mavericks, or if you're a basketball or hockey fan, then uh, I realize if you're moving, you may not be necessarily be a Mavericks or a Stars fan, but that's okay. You can just hop right over right there to the stadium and you know catch some games uh, you know, for the Stars and the Mavericks, or if your favorite team is visiting, then it's going to be real simple to you know to, be, to go over there and, and check them out all right of course you got downtown this the whole downtown area if you love downtown living and you want to be in a high rise uh, you know then there's going to be several options throughout downtown if you're going to be working downtown then you know without uh, going too in depth with it there's there's a uh, not much different than probably the city that you're coming from, except that, you know, Dallas, what I love about Dallas is very clean, very safe. This is a very walkable downtown. Probably the biggest gripe uh, we hear from uh, people living in the neighborhood is, is grocery stores as far as uh, the proximity to them. Not really in the best locations, uh, so that kind of makes it a little bit difficult. But, you know, you can, you can get things that you need, but if you want to do some all-out grocery shopping, then that's usually what the downtowners uh, kind of have the biggest concern about right there. But I tell you what, right here is Clyde Warren Park, and they just finished this uh, several years ago. But it is a it is a very large park. They actually built it over the highway. So before, if you were down around this area, then all you just saw was this highway. But that highway kind of goes under, you know, always kind of had a dip. So they literally just built the whole park right over the highway absolutely amazing architecture and engineering feat as far as i'm concerned 
uh, but there's a lot to do there. There's a dog park. You've got it's always lined with food trucks, so there's always things to to do and see and eat there. There's a little uh, performance center. There's always people out there doing yoga, uh, boot camps, things like that. So it's also really a great spot. Uh, close proximity to downtown. There you go. Uh, Deep Ellum. We've mentioned this in one of our top neighborhoods for singles, that video. And of course, Deep Ellum is known for its nightlife and the music scene, kind of probably the main music scene of Dallas area. And you can see here several restaurants and bars. I mean, I love Stur, Stir, I've uh, been there. Uh, Truth and Alibi is a great little, uh, you know, kind of like a speakeasy. Emporium Pies, uh, you know, there's uh, Yellow Rosa, another little speakeasy on there as well. But so many places, Cafe Brazil, Oni Ramen, uh, Revolver Taco Lounge, all of these places are really good. And, and Deep Ellum is really getting revitalized as well. It was, the, it was the happening place in Dallas 20 years ago. And then in the 2000s, uh, you know, mid 2000s or so, it really kind of took a dive. And then over the last couple of years, it's starting to revitalize again. Several of huge apartment complexes being built all around Deep Ellum with great views of downtown. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And if you are looking for an apartment you want to rent first, we, you know, we're more than happy to help you out with that as well. So no, uh, don't feel any pressure that you've got to buy a home or that we only work with home sellers. So we'll be happy to, to help you find an apartment as well. Uh, let's see here, you know, South Dallas, also a little bit of revitalization, but I would say Cedars is more of the, the cooler spot to be right now. Uh, a lot of lot going on in, in uh, the Cedars area. Again, everything old is kind of getting revitalized, some new apartments going on uh, around there. And of course, great views of downtown. I mean, they can't be beat. Um, Fair Park, uh, if you want to be over in this neighborhood, I would probably recommend coming up here to Old East Dallas. Uh, of course, you know, we, this was also featured in our, our video for singles as being one of the best neighborhoods for singles. And it's actually my neighborhood. This is where I live. And I love Old East Dallas. There's several historic districts. So if you're looking for something that is a home that's over 100 years old and in a historic district, then that's a great option for you in Old East Dallas. You've got close proximity to Fair Park, which of course, before COVID, there was always concerts and shows going on. Of course, that's where the State Fair of Texas is at. Uh, we hear that concerts are going to be coming back soon, but uh, there's the Do Dos Equis Pavilion there that is an awesome indoor-outdoor venue. The outdoor area is lawn tickets, which you can get for very inexpensive, and you can actually uh, get chairs or blankets or things like that, camp out on the lawn. It's an awesome place to for a concert if you want to Kind of hang out on that back lawn and just you know check out a great concert or a venue and then of course you've got uptown right this was our number one spot in that video or single so if you're a single young professional and looking to be right in the middle of everything uh, and uh, you know have what you want right there i mean this is a great spot uptown uh, right here mckinney avenue Kinney Avenue runs all the way through here and is just full of restaurants, bars, shops, whatever you need. You're going to get everything you need off of McKinney Avenue, but also you got Lemon Avenue, Cole Avenue, all these streets right there just have something, uh, you know, to offer on there as well. But uh, again, a ton of restaurants and bars in the area. So you're going to have more high rise living apartment complexes you can get some single family homes around there they are going to be extremely pricey and usually two to three times the amount of uh like what my home here is in old east dallas it's kind of the same style like i'm in a historic district so i have a over 90 year old home it's a three bedroom three bath and my home would probably be two to three times the amount in uptown uh, just because those homes over there of course that property is a lot more valuable and uh, so if you want something that's single family that's a lot less i would recommend just hopping over the highway here to old east dallas uh, because you'll find find something a lot less expensive and then you've got swiss avenue uh, this is we featured this in a couple of our videos but swiss avenue is really this main street and it's like 
several, it's all the big mansions. It's all the big mansions that were built over a hundred years ago, huge front yards. I mean, it's, it's just, uh, I would say probably my favorite street in Dallas, you know, as far as just kind of, uh, you know, driving down the road and looking at all the big houses. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to just drive down there. The Christmas lights are always great. And they have a couple of uh, parties and even historic home tours. So that's the other thing. These historic districts around here, uh, Swiss Avenue, Junius Heights, uh, Munger Place over here, uh, even uh, up here they call the M Streets, things like that, Lower Greenville. They, do, uh, they were doing historic home tours. Hopefully they come back in 2021. But this is where, you know, they would feature five to six homes in that neighborhood that were walkable. And, you know, the homeowners actually let you come in and take a look and check it out. So that's a lot of fun as well. Uh, again, Lower Greenville, this whole area. Uh, this is really referred to as the M Streets. So uh, Greenland Hills. This we also featured for singles, but this whole area, this is, yeah, Lower Greenville is lots of bars and restaurants all along there no well known for the nightlife a very popular spot because knox henderson right here as well is also a main area uh, for singles and nightlife several restaurants bars some nightclubs things like that along henderson avenue uh, you've got that on lower greenville right here as well and then when you come over here to the knox side uh, you know this is going to be restaurants uh, high-end shopping you've got like the apple store you've got like restoration hardware things like that so this is definitely going to be high-end on the left side here of 75 you know uh, real estate is going to be much more expensive and over here on the the right side of 75 it's going to be a lot more affordable here m streets uh, all this area we featured this in one of our vlogs as well you're going to be able to get some old historic homes as well for very well priced and probably uh, several hundred square feet more for the same price you would probably get in uptown so they're still going to be you know a little bit more pricier over in here because this is one of the the top neighborhoods in dallas but again and and all of this look at this the the proximity to white rock lake uh, which i love especially being in Old East Dallas, this is not that far at all. We're talking about five to 10 minutes down the street to get over here to White Rock Lake. There's a nine and a half mile track that goes all the way around White Rock Lake so that you can enjoy biking, hiking, running, picnic, working out, spiritual retreats, whatever it is you wanna do, paddle boarding, canoeing, everything is available. You can't have a motorboat on White Rock Lake so you can have a sailboat, you can have a uh, something like that uh, paddle boat so you can enjoy all of that there on white rock lake and a lot of green space a lot of area for you to picnic and enjoy and take advantage of so that's really awesome uh, and then of course you bump over to this side little forest hills again uh, a lot of old historic homes very affordable on this side of the lake you still get some of those old more like ranch style homes uh, uh, versus over here you know, on this side, we've got a lot of the tutors and bungalows and craftsmen's. And over on this side of the lake is more of the ranch style homes, ranch style homes, kind of like the kind of like the brick homes and, and things of that nature. Uh, let's see, north northeast Dallas. This is Carruth Terrace area. This is something that we also featured a uh, really good spot for singles in this whole area right here is really uh, Carruth Terrace. The village, this is several city blocks of restaurant, or I mean, uh, really more like a apartment living, but a lot of people are coming over from SMU. You can see SMU right here. So the village in this whole area really makes uh, it a popular spot for college kids uh, in SMU area uh, as well. You see there, Cruz Terrace. So everything up along around in here, we featured this is also one of our top neighborhoods for singles because of that aspect right there, the proximity to SMU and everything that they've got going on. You've also got the, the north end of White Rock Lake, very accessible right there as well. So again, uh, now here, University Park, Highland Park, and Preston Hollow, all this right here. Here's Highland Park, here's University Park, and here's Preston Hollow. Just to give you an idea, Highland Park, University Park, these are the most expensive neighborhoods in all of Dallas. You're talking about University Park, uh, 
home prices, median home prices, just over a million dollars, uh, 1.3. Actually, Highland Park is 1.5. So just keep that in mind if you want to move there. But they're actually not a part of Dallas. They are have their own uh, municipality. They have their own police department. So they are not actually considered a part of Dallas. Highland Park and University Park are their own areas. Um, Preston Hollow is is uh, the Dallas area, but um, so they're they're not part of that. But University Park, Highland Park, probably uh, or not probably, they are in the top five best schools, public schools in all of Texas, and uh, that's really what you're paying for is the public schools. And it is the Beverly Hills, you could say, of Dallas. And so you're going to find all your uh, fancy cars and huge homes in that area. And right here, Preston Hollow is really a very prestigious neighborhood as well. This is where George Bush lives. This is where Mark Cuban lives. This is where uh, Perot, all of them, they have uh, off of here, off of uh, Straight Lane, or it's actually it's up here. Close this out. Oops. Right up in here. Where's the toll? Yeah, right up in there. So, oh, sorry, I was on the wrong side. So, straight lane, <laughs> right there. Uh, I was missing it there for a second. This is where, uh, you know, people like Mark Cuban, Dirk Nowitzki, uh, all of them have homes along the side, Ross Perot, they call that uh, Billionaire's Row, right along there. You can actually see how the streets just kind of go back and they also, all of this is most of their property. They have very large compounds along Straight Lane. Uh, so that's just something, fun fact there for you there. But Preston Hollow, very, very nice neighborhood as well. You've got uh, attached to, by Preston Hollow and University Park, North Park Center, a huge mall. Uh, Rack, Norsham Rack, all that stuff. But on the other side, again, if you want to stay very, very affordable, if you kind of get the theme here, right here in between the tollway and 75, all of this is, um, you know, this is all going to be more of your high priced real estate uh, in here, okay? And over on the east side of 75 is going to be much more affordable. So just depending on where you want to be at, but, uh, oh, and I, I didn't even get to Lakewood yet. So Lakewood, probably my, uh, favorite neighborhood. Uh, this is the one I border off of and having a trouble with my controls there, but Lakewood, of course it is Lakewood because it's mainly this section right here it borders the lake and, and is well known for one of the best public elementary schools right here, Lakewood Elementary School. It's one of the best public elementary schools in all of Dallas, and people love that aspect of it. So the middle school and high school are also uh, good as well, but the elementary school is very, very highly rated. So if you want to start your kids off on the right track, then Lakewood is a great neighborhood and actually one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Dallas. It's right here below Mockingbird. And a rooms, uh, Gaston Avenue, all kind of borders that. And then you've definitely got some homes along the lake that are absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, a lot of fun to, uh, to drive and look at those as well. So that's just something to keep in mind there. And you've got Dallas Love Field here, which is, you know, Southwest Airlines where the hub is. So you can see here, everything is very accessible to, to Dallas uh, Love Field. And even the airport, the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, is not that far away, of course, from, from Dallas as well. So it's something you can take advantage of. As far as lake life, you can jump out here. You know we love the lake life here in Dallas. Lake Ray Hubbard right there, that's just a short drive out. You've got uh, Lake Levon up here, uh, Louisville Lake. You've got Grapevine Lake. All great options, uh, you know, from Dallas, all within 20, 30 minutes, just a short drive. So if you love lake life or you want a lake house and you want something in town, then those are some great options as well. And you can see here, we're not really covering the suburbs. That's going to be in another video where I give you a high level overview 
of all of the suburbs, which would be outside of the circle. But as you can see, we're kind of staying in the circle, except for let's just uh, cover far north Dallas, and which is an expansion of Dallas, as you can see, but also very, very, very nice neighborhoods up in here. Again, you're in between 75 and the tollway, so that's going to be some of your higher priced real estate as well. Uh, and but also very accessible to downtown. But you can see here everything, uh, all of these great neighborhoods right here based in Dallas are all uh, within 10, 15 minute drive to, to downtown, very quick. That's not a very expensive Uber ride. So if you live in any, I know uh, I went downtown the other, the other night and it was $9, you know, to get from Old East Dallas to downtown is $9 Uber ride. If I want to go up to Greenville Avenue, which I know I'm going to have a couple of drinks and I just don't want to even risk driving that far, that's like a $5 Uber ride for myself. So getting to uh, those areas, you know, because right here, not a lot um, going on in Old East Dallas as far as walkable, except we would walk to uh, up here to uh, Whole Foods. And there are a couple of bars around here that Whole Foods has closed their bar since COVID, so I'm not sure when they'll open that back up. But a couple of these other bars over here didn't quite make it because, you know, Lakewood is not really known for its nightlife. And, you know, with that being said, that really kind of covers everything inside the loop that is of importance, I would say, uh, at least as far as the best neighborhoods that you would want to check out or even consider. So again, if, uh, you know, if you're thinking about making the move to Dallas and you want to know a little bit more about any of these neighborhoods, you can uh, download the neighborhood snapshot below in the, the description. That's free. Kind of gives you a little bit of overview on there as well. But also you could, uh, you know, you could Google this as well. But if you want to jump on a Zoom call with us or shoot us a text or send us an email, we'd be happy to get back to you and help you out in any way. If you want ever want to check something out and you're making your way to Dallas, you know, please let us know. You know, again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth, smooth move to Dallas. So with that being said, you know, we hope to see you around town. Bye for now.